Terry was asking questions about a bone marrow biopsy that her doctor is offering to do for her. And okay. she was asking about um, uh, kind of uh, what genetic tests she would do with that. And then how could, you know, I, I'll ultimately looping back into how can we make sure she gets the best possible biopsy. So I'll leave it to you two to discuss so you can answer those questions, Alex. Okay. Hi, Terry. Hi, Alex. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. So tell me about your situation. Um, well, I've been seeing the uh, oncologist for about 10 years following me for MGUS. And about three years ago, it kind of changed. And he started talking about CLL and yeah. Waldenstrom's. Okay. Interesting. And then, and then it, I've got a new oncologist as of this week. Okay. The other one retired. And so he says... Um, uh, what did he say? He added a little more to that. Um, but he definitely wants me to have a bone biopsy. Okay. So now, have you had a PET CT? No. Okay. So a PET CT can be really helpful in this case. Now, you have a very complicated uh, circumstance, obviously, as you probably know. Um, it's this um, kind of gray area of, of uh, you know, bone marrow and uh, and lymphomas and and cancers of the of the blood and so on, um, and it kind of kind of crosses many different borders. So really defining what is going on is really important. Um, I think getting a bone marrow biopsy is a very good idea. Um, I think if you have a PET CT, then they could identify maybe if there's a potential um, uh, you know spread anywhere else. 